Hi, Helen from crystalsandcrochet.com here and welcome to part 5 of Winnie's Wonder I'll crochet along for 2024 Okay, we've got quite a big section that we're going to do this week Okay, so do go to the website, download the PDF just so that you've got all of the stitch counts that you'll need etc okay so more bobbles more cross double crochets some popcorns some cluster shells we're doing this week okay hope you enjoy round 53 okay we're going to join with a standing double crochet in the last stitch of any side. In the corners we've got two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet. One, two and one and two. Okay, let's move our corner marker up into our new corner space. Okay, we're going to skip that first stitch which is highly likely to be hidden and then double crochet in the next three stitches. Okay, and then we start our repeat that we're going to work across each side. So, we're going to skip the next stitch and then we're going to make a cluster V stitch in the next stitch. Okay, so for a cluster V stitch, we're going to make a two double crochet cluster, chain one, and then two double crochet cluster. Okay, so we're skipping this one. So yarn over once into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and through two, yarn over again into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over through two. We've got three loops on a hook. So we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then we're going to chain one, then we're going to make another two double crochet cluster. So it's through two loops once. So two partial doubles and then through all three loops. Okay, we're then going to skip the next two stitches and again make a cluster V stitch which is a two double crochet cluster and two double crochet cluster. Okay, and we're going to do that twice. Okay, so here's the first one and skip two. Here's the second one and skip two. We're then going to make a third cluster V stitch. Chain one and one and two. Okay. We're then going to skip the next stitch and double crochet in the next five stitches. Okay, and oops, yarn's tangled. Two, three, four. And five. Okay, so that's our repeat. Skip the next stitch, cluster V stitch in the next stitch and skip two twice, cluster V stitch in the next and skip one. Okay, so you've got three cluster V stitches, you've skipped one at the beginning, one at the end and two in between there. Then going to double crochet in five. 
and you're going to do that 10 times okay and then the last repeat you will work the cluster V stitches the same but you'll only have three double crochet to make so that's if you like on the 11th repeat so as you come round to the end here there will only be three stitches left at the end of the side for you to work into. I will come back and show you the corner as we go round so that you can see how it looks. Round 54 and we're going to join with a standing front post treble around the last stitch of any side. There we go. Okay then in the chain two corner space two double crochet one and two then chain two and two oops double crochet Let's move our corner marker up into our new corner space. Okay, we are going to front post treble around the next stitch. and then double crochet in the next stitch and we're going to do that twice okay so front post treble and double crochet and then another front post treble Okay, so your corners are two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and then you're going to start off front post treble around the next stitch, double crochet in the next one twice, and a front post treble. And then we're going to start our repeat, which we're going to do 11 times, and it will bring us right to the very end of each side. Okay, chain one popcorn in the next V stitch okay so into that chain one space and remember a popcorn is five double crochet three four five and five lift under the top two loops of that first double crochet back into your working loop, pull through and chain one to close. Okay, and that's your popcorn. We're then going to chain two and popcorn in the next V stitch and we're gonna do that twice. Okay, and remember that the closing chain one is part of the popcorn. Okay, so we've got a chain one, popcorn in the V-stitch, then chain two, popcorn in the V-stitch twice. We're then going to do a chain one. Okay, and then we are going to front post treble around the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch, and we're going to do that twice, so exactly the same as we did at the beginning in those first five stitches. And then a front post treble around that next stitch. Okay. So... <laughs> corners, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. You've then got front post treble around the next, double crochet in the next twice, front post treble. 
and then our repeat as we work across is chain one, popcorn in the next V-stitch, chain two, twice, popcorn in the next V-stitch and then chain one. And then we've got front post treble, double crochet in the next stitch twice and a front post treble. Okay, and you're going to repeat that 11 times, which will bring you right up to the end. So on this last side, you're just going to omit that front post treble that you've already made. Okay, join to that standing front post treble, fasten off and secure your ends. Round 55, okay, so again, we're going to join with the front post treble around the last stitch of any side. There we go. And in the corner, two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. Two, one, two, and one, and two. Okay. Okay, so this time we're going to be repeating this section. So we start with a front post treble and then double crochet in the next stitch and we're going to do that one, two, three times and then a front post treble around that last front post treble. Okay, then we're going to start our repeat. So we're making um, cluster V stitches again, but instead of going into the popcorn, which will make everything sit off to the side, we're going to go into the closing chain one. Okay, so into the closing chain one, one partial double, two partial double, join them together, chain one, and then another two double crochet cluster. Okay, so you'll see it sits much more accurately straight above the popcorn rather than over to the side. Um, and we're going to do that in each of the three popcorns. Okay, and then we are going to repeat this. So it's front post treble around the front post treble and double crochet into the double crochet. We'll do that twice. And then another front post treble. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, and you are going to repeat this section 11 times. Okay, and you will then have two stitches left once you've made that 11th repeat so you'll double crochet in the next one and front post treble around the next okay so your double crochets are made in the double crochets and the front post trebles are made around the front post trebles your corners are two double crochet chain two two double crochet and then as you can see by making the um, cluster V stitches into the closing chain one it keeps everything much straighter as it goes up if you go into the popcorn which is this part here everything shifts over so doing it this way helps to keep everything more square okay so all the way round join to that standing front post treble fasten off and secure your ends.
round 56 and we're going to join with a standing front post treble around the last stitch of any side. There we go. Okay, so again our corners are two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet. Okay, and then let's move that marker up into our new corner space. Okay, I'm just going to zoom out a weeny bit so you don't lose my hands. Okay, we're then going to basically repeat this row that I've done in Clematis before. Um, front post treble around the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, this time we're going to do that four times. Okay, so our fourth repeat brings us to here, so we've got one more front post treble to make around that last front post treble. Okay, and then again, as I said, as we did here, our repeat is chain one, popcorn in the next V stitch. So remember, your popcorn's a five double crochet, two, three, four, five, lift up your loop, under the top two loops of the first double crochet, pull through, chain one to close the popcorn, then chain two for the pattern. Okay, so we're going to do that um, twice, so chain two, and popcorn in the next stitch, in the next V-stitch, twice. Okay, we're then going to chain one before we go into front post treble around the ne next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. Oh, everything's falling off the table. And we're going to do that twice. So front post, treble, double crochet, and then another front post treble. Okay. So let's just pop that down so that we can see. Okay, so starting with your corners, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. We're then following the pattern of front post treble around the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. We're going to do that four times and then another front post treble. And then as we work our popcorn section, we're going to chain one popcorn in the next V-stitch and then chain two popcorn in the next V-stitch twice. Chain one, front post treble round the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch following what we have been doing already. Okay, so that's twice and then another front post treble. Okay, so you will repeat that section 11 times okay which on each um, side will bring you to this point you've got four stitches left to work here so it's double crochet in the next stitch front post treble around the next stitch twice okay all the way round but this time join to your standing front post treble with a slip stitch. 
round 57 we're going to chain one and single crochet in the same stitch and I'm going to mark that stitch again just so that the rising chain one isn't mistaken for a stitch and single crochet in the next two okay then in the chain two corner space we're going to single crochet chain two single crochet place our marker in our new corner space okay skip the first stitch and then you're going to single crochet in the next 10. Okay, so 10 brings us to this last front post treble here. And then we've got quite a simple repeat. Single crochet in the chain one space. Front post single around the popcorn. And then you're going to make two single crochet in the chain two space. Front post single around the popcorn and do that twice. Two and around the popcorn. And then a single crochet in the chain one space. And then single crochet in those next five stitches. Two, three, four and five. Okay, so that is our repeat. So in the corner, single, chain two, single. Skip that first stitch, single crochet in ten. And then the repeat that you're going to do eleven times working across and don't forget these chain one spaces okay so it's single in the chain one front post single around the popcorn and then two single in the chain two space front post single around the popcorn twice single in the chain one space single in the next five stitches okay so once you complete your 11th repeat one, two, three, four, five. That will bring you to here on each side. Okay, so you've then got six stitches left. So six single crochets in those last six stitches of each side. Okay, so you've got ten single crochet after the corner, but eleven coming up to the corner. Okay, so all the way around, join to that first single crochet, fasten off and secure your ends. Okay, stitch counts, you're going to have 33 front post single crochets around the popcorns and 139 single crochet, so that's 172 all together okay so if it helps you to use stitch markers um, say every 20 stitches or so or every 50 I normally do um, just to make sure that your stitch counts are all correct for us moving into the next um, pattern section okay